you Jump, 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 jump What we done started Look at what we done started This the people party This is what we done started Peace and love, party people. It's the BKMC, the MCEO, Talib Kweli. You are now in the place to be with the People's Party. This is the world's best podcast. And as always, and as usual, I got my lovely and talented and funny and thought-provoking co-host, Jasmine Lee. Oh, me? What's going on, Jasmine Lee? I don't know. It's literally about to be a party over here, though. It is about to be it's a, a lot party. Of, a lot of, lot of motherfuckers. Up That's right. It's a whole team. It's a whole squad we got coming today on People's Party. A lot of testosterone. I was thinking about a, a nickname for this squad. Because you know every good squad needs a nickname. I was gonna call them Team Coco, but then that's my baby's name, right? And that's also Co- Conan O'Brien already uses that. Oh, and Karen Bass already uses Developed that. Coco in her liver. So uh, we got to come up with a new nickname for them besides Team Coco. But anyway, I'm you gonna understand why I said Team Coco in a second? Because oh. our guests today are gonna come up in a major way. <laughs> <laughs> they get <laughs> they get in love everywhere. They are brought up recently on our show. By Will I Am and myself, yes. heaping praise on them. They opened up for Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl. I also was at that show, but my show didn't go over quite as Yours lovely as, <laughs> as theirs did for Wait. reasons we'll discuss later. I was there too. <laughs> yes, you were there. Their appeal spans generations, and the OGs from my era have shown them a lot of love, even though they are a new group because, or a newish group because of their absolute commitment to lyricism and studying the culture. This is a group consisting of Raz and Taj Austin, uh, joined by Rio Los and Eric Jamal. Together they make a fearsome foursome. Their YouTube videos, their Instagram videos, the way they engage in social media has been revolutionary. You see them rapping around a table. You see them showing solidarity with each other. You see them holding each other down. This reminds me of how rap crews used to be back in the days. It's not too many rap crews. Everybody has their own ego. Everybody trying to do their own thing. People are not coming together. And this group proves that there's power in numbers that if you come together, it just, a rising tide lifts all boats. You have heard them on the Queen of Slim soundtrack with a song of the same name. Their album, Apartment 505, it already feels like a classic. If you love hip hop, you have definitely been following them on social media. They have manifested their own path. They're killing it. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Coast Contra and a place to be. Woo! Yes, sir. How y'all feeling? Oh, bless, bless, man. Can't yes, yes, Can't yes, yes, yes. Thank y'all yes, for coming on our show. Man, man. thank you for having us. It's, it's, it's an honor for real. For yes, real. y'all have done been doing the interview circuit, and I've been watching some of y'all interviews because, mm-hmm. like, a lot of people's party, if y'all know this show, we have a lot of legacy artists, and mm-hmm. we, we strive yeah. to have more new artists. Mm-hmm. But with the newer artists, uh, the the story is just not there mm-hmm. as much. So when I do the research, I have to watch a lot of interviews. Mm-hmm. And y'all put so much dedication into the lyricism and studying the craft that I want to make sure I give the same dedication to this interview for y'all. Oh, wow. Because wow. I feel like so far the interviews, y'all, what y'all bring into the table is so overwhelming that I haven't I haven't seen the definitive Coast Contra interview yet. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're gonna achieve oh, okay. today here. Man, it's an honor to do it here first. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So first of all, shout out to uh People's Party alum and my friend and my OG and my person I've done a lot of great music with and I've toured with, Pete Rock. Mm-hmm. 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 Pete Rock Shout is Pete such Rock. an icon in hip hop and Pete Rock has his finger on the pulse of what's going on. And mm-hmm. as you were saying earlier, Pete Rock's Instagram feed is like a controversial TV show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our yeah. network yeah. 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 is like a whole station. 100%. Yeah. yeah, you can watch funny content. Yeah. You can watch, you'll post up a scientific Art, uh, a video about how much shit be in the pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or he'll post yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, or he'll post a Coast Contra video. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Right. so he posted this Never Freestyle. Mm-hmm. Y'all rhyming on this J- uh, Jid beat. And um, shout out to J.I.D. Jid. It's, so J.I.D. Is it J.I.D. or is it Jid? I don't know. I believe, I believe it's, it's J.I.D. I think it's J.I.D. Yeah, yeah, but people yeah, yeah. who but people know him call him, go, go yeah, call him yeah, Jid. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I want to be in the know. That's why I don't know what the call is. He's one of my favorite new artists. Oh, he's dope. You know, and you know, what he does lyrically on the beats, like it's very, it's in the lane of what y'all do. Man, mm-hmm. um, so y'all rhymed on this beat. I reposted it. Will I Am reposted it. So many people reposted it. Um, why that J.I.D. beat? Actually, because it was it was within a vein. Yeah, it wasn't like a, in a, a vein of beats that we was doing. And I know for sure that was one I heard when I first heard it. 
I was like, yo, bro bodied this on a level. Mm -hmm. uh, like his, and shout out to the original version because I definitely don't want to like, you know, underplay mm -hmm. that. That joint was out of control. Yeah. It was actually the inspiration like when we heard it. Fool. Yeah, man, we oh heard it. God. It's quotables in there that don't leave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we heard it, we was like, I remember I had, uh, I believe I sent that. Yeah, I sent that to the group chat. Yeah. I was like, yo, can, I, can we get this one? We made, it, we made a, a situation at the top of the year where we was like, yo, you know what? Uh, we not playing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this mm -hmm. year we we gon we gon we gon go we taking heads off, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna move with the operation of like, yo, we gotta body everything, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And so when we did that, um, we, we was like, yo, so what we need is like preparation. Let's get these things done. We should be dropping them every week, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And so we we started doing it just like that. And um, when that one came. Everybody laid down their verses, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. the crazy part was that we didn't know it was gonna do exactly what it did, but mm -hmm. we did. We definitely felt like when we was done, we was like, yo, this feels, this feel, yeah, this yeah. gonna do something. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, yeah. we, we didn't know it was gonna something. shoot up, but we knew whoever rocked with it. With was us, gonna rock they with was gonna it. rock yeah. with that. It's undeniable. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mm. mean? Right. Absolutely. Right, right, right. Mm. Now I heard y'all say in another interview when y'all were talking about true story mm -hmm. that y'all learned from watching big do party and bullshit yeah. in terms of the stage yeah, tactics man. of creating a fight and the animosity. Now, mm -hmm. when I heard that, you got to understand, I'm someone who was around in that era. I was man. working for Diddy. Man. I was handing wow. out flyers for parties. Wow. I was going, I went to Howard University homecoming. When they depicted it in a movie right, and they showed right, Puff right. and Big at Howard University, yeah, right. I was there wow. for that. So this is, cool. I was, wow. I was wow. in the club wow. when they was like pretending to fight. Right, yeah. right, so right. to see y'all, 20, 30, how many years later, mm -hmm. later, be inspired by that and study that, it really just warmed my heart. Wow. Yeah. And it reminds yeah. me of just how y'all y'all study. I know when y'all put out that first Never Freestyle, mm -hmm. um, particularly with you, Eric Jamal, mm -hmm. stuff you were doing, did people start saying, this sound like ODB. This mm -hmm. sound like Busta Rhymes. Mm -hmm. This yeah. sound like The Misfits. This sound like, like Wu-Tang. Um, and even for the West Coast, I feel like there's some Freestyle Fellowship there. Mm -hmm. There's some Jurassic Five there. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jurassic uh, yeah, Five, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but even yeah. going back further than that, Jurassic Five learned from Cold Crush. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, right. so what y'all doing is y'all doing Cold Crush wow. routines. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So tell me about why y'all felt the need to be so studious mm -hmm. in the crowd. I know when I got with these guys, they was always telling me that I needed to, like, you know, like, you got to do your homework. You got to, right. you know what I'm saying? Because they was kind of brought up in the music. I know Lowe's, he's a hip-hop historian. He kind of yeah. know a lot, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I was kind of late kind of getting onto that as far as, like, uh, studying, like, the OGs. So when I started to study them, um, and I came across, you know, I came across the Wu and the Far Side and everything mm -hmm. like that. Uh, shout out to Far Side. Far Side, side too. Yeah. Yeah. The, the voice thing with me, I had a, like a little thing with my voice. And then when I heard him do that, Bro, that my, voice, Rome. yeah, like, I was like, in wow. In my younger days? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, so cool. So these freestyles for us was like, you know, it was really, really like... Like Mortal Kombat in a sense, like, yeah. you gotta yeah. pick a Facts. style, pick who you gonna play with, and yeah. when you when you, when that say start, Don't get your ass, yeah, bro. yeah, you gotta go. So yeah. right. when yeah. I came across yeah. that style, uh, it was uh, specifically Method Man and Od. Um, when he had he had said something on the track I was listening to, he's like, "I make it rain, I make it rain," right. and I was like, "Why he say it like that? That yeah. was kind of fire." Right. Yeah. And I've already been animated with like mm -hmm. the stories that I you know tell and stuff like that. So when it came to that, and when specific, it rains, it pours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> When it came to uh, Never Freestyle and I approached it like that, I was like, oh man, like I don't know. I, I, I literally told these cats, I was like, damn, I think they're gonna like blow me away because I'm telling the story and how I'm doing it. Mm. But then I was like, but it's cool because I'm, I'm down to do something different. You know right. what I mean? So I came into it with that approach. And then yeah, once I got it down, I was like, God was like, yeah, you good. You're like, this yeah. gonna do, this freestyle is gonna do exactly what it's supposed to do. Not right. no more, not no less. Mm -hmm. right. and and everybody came with their shit. You yeah, know, y'all, y'all came, everybody came with their shit. This mm -hmm. from the set off mm -hmm. to the redundant shit, to yeah, the yeah, to yeah. the oh, bilingual yeah. shit, to yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. came with the shit for free for, for well, what you were doing, I see why people I see where I see where you get it from Meth and ODB to me it sounded like a mix of Busta Rhymes and Charlie Brown mm -hmm. from wow. the Leaders of the New School uh -huh. and then when y'all come with the coast yeah. uh -huh. that's what Leaders was doing which uh -huh. is which Jurassic was doing right, which is right, you know right, right. Cold Crush was doing that's cool. um, I um, got to see y'all perform at the Hollywood Bowl mm -hmm. before Dave Chappelle got attacked mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, I spent a lot of time in Yellow Springs with Dave Chappelle we was watching that Never Freestyle a lot that's fine. and so Dave that's was like crazy. yo I gotta have these guys so it was so good to see y'all there, and um, and what was y'all experience like from getting that call to mm -hmm. doing that show? To then, you know, if you remember, Dave was introducing Black Star, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 right. Yeah, so y'all yeah, seen Beto crazy. never come to the yeah, states. Right. He hadn't been to the states in four years. Wow. So I felt so bad for my brother because wow. my brother, y'all seen, he's like, "Yo, y'all should move to Africa. Y'all should get out the states. Mm -hmm. The states is not for us, bro. Get yeah, out the states." Wow. And, I'm, and we've been like, "No." 
we hear you, but come fuck with us. Yeah, yeah, come get yeah. these bags with us. Come moment. do these shows yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, finally, we convinced him to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Dave is like, ladies and gentlemen, black star. Right. And then it's like, right. right. y'all seen us looking at us like, see? Yeah, yeah. Man, that's crazy. So man, I wanted to get crazy. y'all perspective. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole, you know, from being contacted to, to even do the show is mm-hmm. kind of surreal, kind of yeah. crazy for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't, I, it was definitely surprising when that happened. Like, I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't even seem real at the moment. Right. I was like, damn, that's Kind of thought it was staged. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I thought, yeah, I'm like, this must be a part of Grandmaster right, Plan. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a joint. Yeah, no, facts. And then when we seen him afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Legs is all over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he looked like Play Doh. That was crazy. Yeah, 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 man. But imagine getting yeah. beat up by the biggest stars <laughs> in Hollywood. Different. You know what's so You know what I'm saying? Man. Like, you right. get fucked up by like Jamie Foxx, Buster Raj, John Stewart. That's but see him busting and Diddy, like, trying to get into the like. I'm like, oh, they mad, man. Yeah. Like, that shit was crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That and also, I w- shout out to Eric Jamal, who, like, made my night. Because wow. he was like, oh, you're jazzing from the people's party. And I was ah, like, oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Yeah, 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 you already yeah, know. Yeah. That's dope. That's hard, man. I became good friends with Jimmy Fallon right before he got that Tonight Show gig. Oh, wow. I had actually gone, uh, Cameron Diaz used to have a show on MTV which take people on trips. Mm-hmm. I went with Justin Timberlake, Jimmy Fallon, uh, Cameron Diaz to Tanzania, to Serengeti Plain where they mm-hmm. filmed The Lion King. That's where oh, I was at. That's, that's oh. crazy. And um, so that's me and Jimmy cold. have been friends and he's always had me on his show and he came out to Yellow Springs, Ohio a couple weeks ago. We came with Black Thought and he's like, yo, have you heard of Coast Contra? Mm. And I'm like, nigga, what you, how you, who you doing? Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And he's like, yo, That's these crazy. guys. And he's like, and I saw y'all on the show. He, he, y'all didn't do what he said he was going to do, but he was like, I want to have that table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, I want to have the table yeah. on the show. I was like, yo, you should do that. Right, um, right. And y'all, it, for, probably for whatever production reason or whatever, yeah, yeah. y'all tried to, try to debut the new the legacy. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So y'all didn't have the table. But my, one of my favorite TV shows is Community. Mm-hmm. And Community, it's all about that table. Mm-hmm. You know, it's about a community study group that, that centers around table. As a fan of comedy writing for TV, that writer's table mm-hmm. is very important. We watch mm-hmm. the show Blackish right. and the scenes mm-hmm. where Anthony Anderson is at work, all the good laughs come from them sitting around that mm-hmm. table. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. what made y'all decide? The table has to be important. Wow. That's yeah, crazy. that was the, the table. Yeah. It's, it's really the lack of resources, to be honest with ah, you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The we, mother of invention is yeah, what they say. Of course, yeah. of course. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And we had noticed we would try we would try to, you know, m- produce it up a lot more and just go out and go find dope locations and mm-hmm. do all that. And it was difficult because, like, again, resources, time, you know what I'm saying? It was real time consuming. Mm-hmm. And then we had noticed, like, people really just rock with us just sitting at the table and rapping. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it's like, you know what? Give them what they want. That's easy on us. Mm-hmm. And let's do it from there. And then after after that, it just became like a brand. Like, yeah. it was like, okay, mm-hmm. you know, when you see this table, you know what time it is. You know right. What I'm yeah, yeah. 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 Eric Jamal. What up? You, it's so crazy. Going, I feel like a mom. Eric Jamal. <laughs> 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 I keep momming all of my friends. Um, as a dude from Philly, how big of an influence did Black Thought Malik be? And the roots play on you. Oh, it just it's it's surreal. Honestly, I was like we literally just met uh Black Thought uh at the Jimmy Fallon like mm-hmm. physically, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So like to see him is like it's all love, but at the same time it's like, yo, this is Black Thought. Yeah. You, know what yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like and then um what's that Quest Love came out, he showed his love. Mm-hmm. Um and it's honestly I'm just like just taking it in and just being like, this is what's up. I'm honored to like contribute to the whole Philadelphia thing. I got yeah. I got a lot more work to do for sure, but right. I'm gonna add to it. Yeah. One of y'all had a bar about Questlove, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was you, yeah, right? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did it say? My ear drums with Questlove from the roots. roots. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Make your yeah. whole family tree salute. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I met y'all, Taj and Raz, at South by Southwest. Right. Oh, I, right. I don't remember how long ago that was. 2018, so that it had to be, be like 17, 18, something like eight that. Eight years ago, yeah. eight or nine years so ago. So that was how how deep into the group the Coast Contra thing with y'all at that point. Oh, we was officially Coast. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah it was tattered already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was no going back. Nah, it was, uh, That's it was, when we went with, uh, yeah, 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 with yeah, Wade. Exactly. It was with oh, Wade, Wade. Yeah, yeah, Enoch the Prophet, yeah, shout yeah, out. Shout out Enoch, um, yeah. Nah, yeah, it was wild because we had actually been doing it for about, two, taking it seriously for mm-hmm. two years and, um, we had the opportunity to go out there. We, you know, we traveled from uh, Florida. We, I think we took a van, drove down there and, you know, in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, we doing South by Southwest. So in my head, we doing this 
you know, this grand stage. Right. Right. We doing South by oh, Southwest. Oh, South by Southwest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's hole in the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Free, yeah. free shows. Right, it's a right. ball right here with a wooden stage. We like, yo, oh, we yeah. drove from, let's yeah, do it. Let's bro. do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do yeah, it. I did one of them little bars in South by Southwest, one of them little, you know, clubs on the, one of them little, little bars. And before me was Lizzo. Wow. wow. Right? Now, in here's what... Here's, wow. What'd you say? In 2015, you're talking this about? Was, this was... This might have been 2014. This is a long time ago. Yeah. But what was wow. interesting about Lizzo back then was... And I'll never forget this. And I saw her... I haven't seen her. I hadn't seen her since she blew up. Yeah. Right, I right, saw right. her when she did uh, Saturday Night Live with Eddie Murphy. Okay, and I went, wow. to, I went to that show and I saw her in the hallway. And I was like, you remember her? She was like, do you remember me and me? But she opened for me. But... There's no difference in what she was doing then to what she's doing now. Wow. Mm. When she opened for so me, wow. she had a bunch of dancers, wow. a bunch of big, thick dancers. Yeah. And me, you know, I've been, I've been a, a performer for a long time. There's cost to this shit. Yeah. Mm. To yeah. roll around with a bunch of dancers, you got to pay for that. You got to pay for oh, hotels. Yeah. Yeah. You got to pay people's salary. So I remember yeah. seeing like, how is she paying for this? Mm. But the answer, I think, to that question, I'm not speaking for that team, but the answer, I think, is they must have all just been invested in the vision. Mm, man. You know what I'm saying? Like We're doing this for man. free until right. we make it. Right. right. So dope. That's you know what I'm saying? That's I saw Lizzo right. do that full Lizzo show with all the dancers. That's I'm like, all, damn, man. like, how is she afford to pay all of that? That's, That's all. Shout yeah. 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 out to Lizzo. Right. I actually met Lizzo around the same time, 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. And I was producing my comedy show and I let her in for free because she didn't have any cash. Right. And I let her in and literally the next week I saw her on TV. I was like, oh my God, wow. like, that's Chucky Lizzo. Wow. Hey, that's wow. hard. That's, that's dope. how it works so too. That's, that's how it works. works for sure. Yeah, Man, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's dope. No, 100%. Now, when I met y'all, y'all were with your pops, mm -hmm. yeah. Raz Kaz, mm -hmm. who, in addition to being like a good friend of mine, someone I've, you know, had a bunch of ex wild experiences right, with, right, right. Um, <laughs> is, yeah, is a wild dude, <laughs> is, is also one of the most influential, best rappers of all time. Oh, yeah. that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and then your mom, who I'm also friends with, yes, Teacher indeed. Moses, one of the greatest singers, one of the most Man. prolific, like underrated mm -hmm. artists. Matter of fact, she got a record out now that's cracking in the clubs. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You can't, you can't, can't go nowhere without hearing, without hearing yeah. that. The Kate yeah. Tanata version. Yeah. 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 You can't yeah. go nowhere yeah. without that. Yeah. Um, what kind of, and I, you know, you met my daughter, Diani. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. You know, yeah. I also yeah. have a son, Amani mm -hmm. Fela, who also rhymes. My my kids is nice like y'all. That's has cold names, too. Man, no, bless them up from the get go. Yeah, we yeah, serious yeah, out here. Yeah, we I love it. Around. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, what kind of pressures and expectations come from being the sons of people who are doing it like that? Uh, I, I can speak personally for myself. Mm -hmm. it, it, I had no expectation, mm -hmm. um, no pressure in the slightest. Uh, cause number one, like we, cause we come from that from that cloth right there. It's like. You're not gonna do it if you can't do, if you can't do it at an exceptional level. So mm -hmm. I had to stop playing basketball. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. I wasn't able to do it at an exceptional right. level. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel that. certain things you just be like, you know, I'm a when I get it right. And I ain't even show my mom my music uh, for like three years, and mm -hmm. I think she just happened to like hear it, yeah. hear it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But it wasn't even like, yo, mom, check this out. It was like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna get it right. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't play, we didn't let nobody hear our music for like mm -hmm. the first three years. So um, yeah, it was no pressure. If anything, like the dope thing about it, I say the biggest benefit, and I'm sure like you know you could probably attest to that too, is like when you got a parent that is in the industry, it actually just shows you kind of like, yo, it's, it's possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is as realistic as being a doctor, as being a yeah. lawyer, like, because it's at, you're actually able to survive off it. You can actually see the ins and out. You see like, oh, this is, you can see like, yo, this is hard mm -hmm. and still say, oh, I still want to do it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's really, it was a blessing for me, you know what I'm saying, in that regard. So, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. likewise. And then, I, I guess I'll just add just to say like, I think it's cool. It's no pressure. Like he said, it's no pressure, mm -hmm. but it's also cool because like in my mom's case, right? She she's she was you know sheltered us and made sure that we wasn't overexposed and like that. But it's cats that's tapped in with us that's been fans of her since when we was little kids and they like mm -hmm. yo they invested us like we they little nephews you know what I'm saying because right. they like and even on my dad tip like lock out with people they be like yo man I met you when you was like yeah hi you know what I'm saying right. so it's the, the full circle aspect of it is really mm -hmm. dope too you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. that's real dope that's yeah. real dope I love seeing family in this business man because um, it's a business that could be hard on family yeah right, so to yeah, see right, family facts. together in it is really really dope 100%. um. Los, I want to thank you yes, for shouting me out in your freestyle. Mm, you yeah. said equality, my quality feeling yeah. like Talib Kweli because they profiled me. Um, you also shout out Black Star later on in the album yeah. too. Mm. Um, I always say that if you're gonna be a dope rapper. You gotta say my name. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ran, into, I, ran into so modest. I ran into Conway at the hotel this morning. And yeah. I don't wanna blow his spot up and tell him where the hotel he be at. But I ran, I'm like, it's funny. I'm gonna tell you, it was hilarious. Me and Tori Russell, I got, a, I got an Uber. 
Uh-huh. Right? It's like, it's, it's a black truck. I got in the black truck. Driver's like, so you going to the airport? Right? I'm like, I ain't going to the airport. I'm going to, to Up Rocks to do interviews. Mm-hmm. Right. He's like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, we in somebody's car. We in somebody else's Uber. Right. We whip back around. We get out the Uber. And here come Conway. Right. I said to Troy, I said, is that Conway? He said, yeah. I don't know. I said, I said, yo, Con. He jumped out the car. I was like, yo, but he, I'm saying I'd have to say that he mm-hmm. had a, a last year put out a song with my name in it. Mm-hmm. And I told him the same thing. You can't be dope until you say my name. Yes. Oh, my. That's the official, baby. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. Yeah. That's, That's super dope. So, so uh, whoever's writing my verse, make sure you put Talib's name in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Well, I got my Ghost Riders on the job. Go. <laughs> All right, Los. Yeah, talk to me. Can you talk to me about your immigrant experience and being born Afro-Latinx? Uh, man, in uh, Colombia, it, it was. I, I think. I mean, it's really like a whole different world, you know, compared mm-hmm. to out here. It's really different. Um, I think what kept me so close to it, growing mm-hmm. up out here in the states, was like in my household. You know, we was always on it from the music to the food mm-hmm. to the language to the manners. You know, what I mean, like, and just kind of like stories. You know, all that was really big in my household present. So mm-hmm. I always kept it close to me. You know, what I mean, I, I, but. It was it was interesting always like flying back and forth out here from to out there and just like seeing the differences and just learning a lot you know what I mean like, I'd be really like thankful for the small things you know what I mean because like out there it's like it's different you know the pain different like right. so you know it's crazy I ain't really got no crazy words to explain the gratitude really mm-hmm. but um, it's 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 beyond measure you know what I mean uh, and I'm just honestly super grateful and honored to be able to represent tell that story you know yeah. what I mean like yeah. wear that on my back you know what yeah. I mean like I love it you know what I yeah. mean so yeah, yeah. and Let's Spanish go. is your first language and you learned how to speak English from watching Simpsons so is your favorite word do <laughs> 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 tell us about that you know um, every different country got like their own version of Spanish mm-hmm. you know what I mean so like in Colombia like we when we speak to each other it's very like I would say like very like it's a lot of sauce on there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the extra sauce. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So like, and that's just like regular, like, you know, you buying some like milk and people just treat each other like that out there. So um when when we came to like, you know, America with like America's kinda like the the the, the feeling, it was kinda like the like the, the English language kinda felt like a little different. Mm-hmm. So it was like not have as much of sauce, it was a little dry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little scale. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> baked chicken and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like season, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um I so I I didn't really wanna like tap into it at first, but you know, I, I kinda had to. Um mm. then it was, you know, through watching Simpsons and then like the the homies outside started getting into it. So I kinda like grew up in two different worlds at the same time. And then, you know, once I crossed that door into the crib, I'm back to the roots, you yeah. know, as close as I could get to the roots out mm-hmm. here. And then, uh, you know, when I'm outside, that's when I, like, you know, I, f- I found out about hip-hop because mm-hmm. I, I didn't grow up into hip-hop or nothing like that. Like, we always bumped salsa. You know, my dad worked um, with this uh, salsa band called Grupo Nietzsche. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, I, I, I used to, like, you know, just listen to all that type of music, just, like, I probably know just as much of salsa as I know about hip hop. I'm a salsa I mean? fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Do it's your hips not lie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mind's been lying like a mug. Yeah. I'm just lying. What? I get exiled by the fam if I forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. I'm sorry. <laughs> now awesome. y'all met, y'all met in tenth grade, right? Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. high school was that? Alonzo Tracy Morning. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alonzo yeah. Tracy. Yeah. Exactly. ATM. What was it the spark that brought y'all together? Uh, initially, was, yeah. when I had seen uh, Lowe's, mm-hmm. we was out here from we was out there from LA. So when I seen him, he had uh, his outfit. His outfit had made me th- I thought ah. I thought he was from from the West Coast. So I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you from LA?" And he was like, "No, I'm from Texas." Da da da. And then what really connected us was when uh, we just we both found out we rapped, mm-hmm. and it was his instrumentation. Like his beat choices was crazy. Like he was putting me on all different type of uh, Jay Dilla, Dilla like, like, some like, I am like all type of Follow. beat. Like I knew of them, but like mm-hmm. we was just dropped like like. Stuff out the crate, it like, was yo, like take rare us out, to come us across out. like yeah. like kids at that age that knew about that type of right. stuff. Right, like, it was crazy. It was like I don't 15. mean to cut your wisdom, but mm-hmm. I would I wore a Jay Dilla hat flying here yesterday, mm-hmm. and it's different now because it was it used to be really really underground, yeah. right? But now, so I'm wearing I got the mask on. I'm on the plane. I got my Dilla hat, and like five people passing me was like, I like that hat. Mm-hmm. I like that hat. It was like a secret language. Yeah, we had. Right. You know right. yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. Right. yeah. Right. No, when I see it, it was crazy because yeah, yeah. as soon as I like once that was established, it was like, all right, cool. I'm locking in. I locked in with him more than I was locking in with my my partners. I already knew, you know right. what I'm saying? Just from that love of music, mm-hmm. and then from there, yeah, it was just like. 
we just kept building it, kept growing. We had a little uh, a group before called Urban Secrets. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, man, shout yeah. out to that sounds like a, a yeah. black romance novel. We had some boo-ass boo ass rap names. Actually, that's the way he got his nickname. We called him Titties. Right. Yeah. But yeah, you know, just kids just throwing, throwing, throwing paint on the wall. But yeah, and then it just developed into what it is now. Right. Yeah. Dope. So then Eric comes from Philly. You were planning mm-hmm. on living in your car, but your boys stopped that. Mm-hmm. Um, can we talk about how Eric brings the group structure? And I also want to give each of you guys time to give each other flowers. Oh, oh yeah. 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 so Eric, Eric, like so the um like the flyest thing about this man was was that he came in and it's hard to really get us all on the same page with something if um, you know, especially if we all are on one side, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So he he literally came in and it wasn't like yo y'all gotta it was like yo I'm gonna put my board up. His example. I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna see. So, so example, like yeah, when somebody get in there, they just start like leading with the action. It's like yo he really spoke volumes in there. So that was a dope part. And he and um he's definitely prepped. Like he taught me the value, and I'm still working on it. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. he taught me the value of like like yo being on time. You know what I'm saying? Like yo mm-hmm. wash your dishes, like, stuff <laughs> like that. Like it's like it's, it might seem like small things, but he got a lot of knowledge in that area just from his pop and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like these things, they all work for you at the end of the day. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I feel like where we had some of the the mental things that we thought, you know, like spiritually and all that stuff. He he really came in and even with that as well, but he came in and really just showed you like practice, like the practice mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. being a man and stuff. And mm-hmm. and that, you know, in that sense. So yeah, that's I give you flowers on that yeah, always. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on, sneak up in there. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the microphones, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? I, I also want to add with Eric too, um, he came in and he he he's a little bit older than us. And it's funny because we grew up, me and my brother, we always wanted a big brother. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So and he always wanted a little brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he he came in and literally embraced us like little brothers, like mm-hmm. off rip, you know what I'm saying? Like, which is amazing, especially knowing his how dope his heart is, knowing the city he come from and just some of the things he's been through. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For him to be able to pour into us like that was was amazing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate you, big dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, man, Black know. love. I love yeah. you. Yeah. Black love. Yeah. Next. And, uh, you know, piggyback off the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I I got this thing called like the golden heart. You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, he got one of those golden hearts, you mm-hmm. know, where it's like, you know, no matter what you've been through, you know what I mean, you still, that, that heart still shine, you know what right. I mean, like untainted, right. unwounded, you know what I mean, like, right. and that, that takes resilience, you know what I mean, so it's a lot of uh, strength and loving, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. so. He, he got one of those hearts that's my brother. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Young East Kia, man. That's yeah. so if beautiful. I, if I got yeah. wait, when we say something about my brother, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, oh, indeed. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 100. Yeah. I, I came in there, you know what I'm saying? But they 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 taught me as well. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, they definitely taught me the power of uh, communication, how to, how to respect my feelings, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I didn't I didn't understand that back, uh, you know, just being from Philly. Mm-hmm. I always tell them, like, oh, bro, we just scrap it out and mm-hmm. shake hands. And they like, oh, no, we won't, we won't do none of that. Like, mm-hmm. We let, you know, talk to us and let you know yeah. how you feel. You know what I'm saying? However mm-hmm. you feel, I respect that, but I'm going to let you know how I feel on that top of that. Yeah. And Man, that shit. right there, mm-hmm. that built everything. Like, just mm-hmm. strict communication. We, about us, us all also working uh, uh working together. Like, my we really, cents. yeah, my mm-hmm. two cents. We mm-hmm. always had to have that 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 ladder of communication and just, mm-hmm. like, making sure it was on point. Because if it wasn't, they did. I love what they do. They don't sweep anything under the rug. They don't mm-hmm. hold no grudges. They don't mm-hmm. move on without it being said. Right. It gets said right there, right there. And I'm like, oh, right. that's popping. That's mm-hmm. popping. That's don't good go advice for angry. Yeah, that's yeah, good yeah, advice for that. any relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. R- romantic business. Yeah. Yeah. You know, any relationship that really the communication is key. Yeah. Um, have y'all seen the movie City of God? 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got a video concept for y'all. I just thought of it just now. <laughs> right? In City of God, there's a mini movie inside of City of God, the story of the apartment. Mm-hmm. When they show you how little Zay goes from little Zay to, yeah. to being the gangster yeah. Yeah. that he's going to be, mm-hmm. and it shows you how he gangstered carrot out of that apartment mm-hmm. and it shows you just like a, the time lapse all the stuff that happened in the apartment how carrot took over the apartment from the one one dude and then he was selling and then he got moved out mm-hmm. the apartment mm-hmm. and just within the movie is a little movie so maybe mm-hmm. y'all could do a video concept about mm-hmm. apartment 505 like Man. based on that that's the, the awesome. story of the apartment that was excellent that's fire that's a freebie that's hard yeah. that's, that's hard yeah. that would be crazy yeah. Yeah. That's, that's super hard yeah. 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 That's get that's somebody who who execute that, execute yeah. that yeah. without yeah. like a tribute to that movie but without like Ape it, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. But how did y'all come about getting that apartment? Like, how did 
give me the story of Apartment right, 505. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So we moved out here in 2015 and, mm-hmm. um, you know, 19 years old. Uh, stay with our auntie Mia. Yeah, stay, yeah, stay with our auntie Mia for, for a month. Mm-hmm. So after the month, but it, mind you, it was three of us. She had, you know, she had her man in there. She had two kids and, um, you know, that you can't, you can't rock like that. So right. yeah, we, had to, we had to get up out of there. Um, and when we landed in there, I remember like something about it felt like, this is this Hold is on, for before sure you even it. say that part. We was going doing tours of the joint. Oh yeah, yeah, them yeah, yeah. apartments look like jail cells. It <laughs> oh, it's man. a yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, spot. It was, I'm like, yeah, I yeah can't it was this. Man, it's yeah. a it's a spot. It's a the window facing a brick wall. You like, yeah, okay, yeah. this shit could be ten dollars a month. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, right. So he's yeah, just yeah. looking for something. And the thing that caught us, the, the thing he's talking about, the spark was that view. Yeah, that view, that yeah, view yeah, was incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The view, did the view have the Hollywood sign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you, I want to hear your rest of your story. But when I moved to L. A., what I realized being an outsider in L. A. Is that that Hollywood sign and that being on the horizon mm-hmm. is a big deal mm-hmm. yeah, because yeah. it's like the Hollywood sign and then and then all the billboards mm-hmm. is like you're such proximity proximity of it it seems like a tangible version of your dreams right like, exactly, right. exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was the thing like that let us know oh we're here you know what I'm saying yeah. like we're definitely here because mind you I'm I'm from Altadena so I'm not yeah. really from LA you know what I'm yeah. saying for the most part but when I lived in Miami. He, Yo, I'm from out there in where? LA. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. so yeah, so like coming back and living in LA for the first time as a you know, as a grown man, it was like, oh, okay, this is this is a whole new style. So when we got here and we locked in, that apartment took us through so many phases mm-hmm. over the set, like about f- five, about five years of living there. It took us through so many phases and like we did it, like we did it all in that apartment. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, like we figured it all out in that apartment. Yeah. We turned that apartment from what it is to, you know, what people listening to now. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And like that took that took hard work. So even like, you know, we was talking and um, you know, we was talking about like the work and how this it kinda seemed overnight. But the work just wasn't in the eyes of everybody, everybody else. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was behind the scenes for like seven years of just building the people that we were supposed to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like right. and now is the dope thing why we cherish that apartment because it's you know it's, it's something that stays in us at all times. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I think yeah. it's cool because I feel like well LA puts you through a hazing process. Mm-hmm. Right. So right, right, right. like Tyler when I first moved here I had to have LA in my address. I'm like I'm not yeah. living on the outskirts of my yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to live in LA. Yeah. And I started in K Town too which mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Right, right, right. So when I first got here I had my own so apartment, my own job. So did my daughter too when she oh, moved out. But like I had my own house, I had my own apartment, I had my own job, and then within a month I had none of that. Mm. And I was living there with two other guys mm. in a studio apartment. So right. it really humbles you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it really makes you realize like this I really, I really freaking want this because yeah. I don't want to see oh, this yeah. nigga. Laying yeah, 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 on no, the 100%. other side of my partition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. At least we had the partitions, man. We should never. I'm a lady. I had to have the partition. Right? Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, right? tell us about them walls and how everybody yes. had their own section of this apartment. Yeah, oh man, man. man. Yeah, it was so. That part was so bad. I blocked it out, so I don't really remember. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all can talk about that part. Yeah, yeah. They gave me the window. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was lit. I'm like, y'all blessed me up with the window. With the view. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. You know it get cold that night. Yeah. That thing was hitting. That you. Know it was like chilly at night, and then when it get hot, I'm oh, like, I'm right. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. I had, yeah. We had green stuff growing on the Mold. wall. Yeah. I look at my shoes; yeah. it's all green mold in there. Yeah. I'm like, yo, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Yeah. There's a mushroom in the bathroom. <laughs> the wall. Yeah, mushrooms yeah, mushroom the wall. Did y'all the day. try it out? Hell no. no. <laughs> you, oh my God, that's terrible. That's a terrible idea. Try it out. They grow no, mushroom no. from the wall, from the mall. That's a trip, so baby. That's a trip. Showers. Yeah, right, they the out here licking toads. <laughs> yeah, we had a fly infestation. Our crib yeah. was burnt down. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Marcus. Yeah. Money yeah. was burnt the crib. Yeah. The crib yeah. was burnt down. Yeah. We had roach, rats, bad bugs, bad bugs, bad bugs. Yeah. Every yeah. maggots. Food, flowers, Everything. you name it. We, we went through, we called it like the seven plagues. Like we went through it all. Yeah. Yeah. We went through it all. I don't know all which bad. street y'all was on, but that was bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, it was bad. It was bad. It was, bad. Yeah. It was really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But but on the on the flip side, it it was it was great <laughs> because like you talking about waking up middle of the night, <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> hey man. This shit about to be crazy, bro. You know what I mean? Niggas really about to be doing this shit, but I feel like the OG is gonna receive us a certain way. Yeah, you know exactly, what I mean? like, exactly. Like that's how niggas yeah. is waking up. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, literally, you just in constant manifestation of what you want. And it's mm-hmm. like, it's amplified by four times. You know what I mean? Jay-Z calls it the confidence of knowing. 
Boom. He says when you when you tell someone a dream like that, it sounds crazy. Right. People are like that sounds crazy, right. and you have to know it's gonna work, even though it doesn't make sense. Right. Even but, though it sounds crazy. Imagine like it's so much easier with three other cats. Right. You right. know what I mean? Because like we talking to the dialogue. Like yeah, I can yeah. say this to myself, and it's like all right, cool. I just gotta keep reinforcing mm -hmm. it. I'm literally he's yeah. saying it like we living it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So even when we top it up now, it's like. It almost doesn't even have the same effect because it, yeah. it's like deja vu. We, yeah. we we did it, which is it's still great. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like that beauty of having people that we could just lock in with like that. Mm -hmm. It made that experience unbelievable. I would I would never trade it in for that's nothing. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have an album called The Beautiful Struggle, and that's what y'all describing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the beautiful part of the struggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's um, now. How did y'all all end up working at My Two Cents, the same restaurant? <laughs> There's a soul yeah. food restaurant, right? Yeah, 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 and it's yeah, a soul yeah, food man. restaurant, so it's black. Yep. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, Chef yeah, Elisa, yeah. yeah. This yeah. seems yeah. magical. It seems like a sitcom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seems like a pitch you for a sitcom. You're giving them hella ideas. Hey, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's four rappers, yeah. one's from Columbia, yeah. Yeah. his twins, <laughs> one's from Philly. They all end up working in this re crazy right. restaurant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So shout out to Auntie Nanja, man. Nanja yeah. McKenzie, shout out to Auntie Nanja. She's the dopest, man. So we came out. Uh, the us three, we came out, we was wide-eyed, 19-year-olds, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I remember I came out with like 800, I don't know how much you had, but uh, came out in seven days, it was gone. I had no more oh, money. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what I did with that money, I don't know what I did with it. But I know uh, on the se on the seventh day, we linked up with uh, my auntie, mm -hmm. and she got us in a whip, she was taking us somewhere, she always put on to, put us onto some fly stuff. And um, we in the I'm in the back of the uh, in the car with an attitude, because she bring up <laughs> jobs. Like, I ain't come out here to work. I'm like, what you talking about? Right. So she like, yo, y'all gotta, you know, y'all living with your auntie. Like, y'all gotta get your money up, get your job. Like, let's get it going. So I'm, I'm really. She bursting my bubble right now. I'm really hot about it. She like, tomorrow I'm gonna take y'all. Y'all go put on something nice. I'm gonna take y'all down to two cents, and y'all gonna meet Chef Elisa. She was like, yo, this spot right here is is the epicenter of just all things creativity. Like mm. everybody you know, you know what I mean. Ava Duvernay, uh, like literally the 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 whole gambit. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm gonna take y'all down there. I'm gonna put get y'all a job so y'all could just be where y'all need to be. Mm -hmm. And she just she I'm called smart. it from there. Mm -hmm. And so boom, Chef Elisa, we met her the next day. She, uh, had had this bomb ass chicken club. It was so good. I was. Sold on the food already from mm. the first day, and she just she didn't even. The interview was so dope because I was so used to working corporate jobs where it's like you got to sell yourself. Yeah. But this was the first time where she like we just having a conversation. She really just like vibing you out. Mm. Let's see what you yeah. about. You know what I'm saying? And in the process of even working through the job, I never forget the way the job work is like. You got to pull yourself out. She had to pull me out of my shell because I'm working with my boss. So this is my first time. I ain't never known nobody that owned Chipotle. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. name, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm working with my boss. And she, late <laughs> night, she's scrubbing the stove. You know <laughs> I was reminding me of the Dave Chappelle's kit. Pop copy. <laughs> Shit, I, you, you might be able to get him on the phone for me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like that. You know what I mean? Like it, it just has so much more value to see, mm -hmm. to know, you know what I mean, that mm -hmm. this the person. And um, yeah, man, she 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 just she just would pull our character out of us every day. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Like I never forget. Like I, like honestly, I learned to MC working at that restaurant. Mm -hmm. You got to talk to. I remember I had like he said, you going through like five oh five. The whole experience don't even just encompass that building. It actually encompasses just that that period of life. Mm -hmm. And two cents was very much so apartment five oh five all over again. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. I, one thing I, I always been big on just. I grew up with my mom, single mom, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. just, I know gratitude. Like, I, I just never wanted my mom to feel like she wasn't giving me enough. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I know she's trying her best. So gratitude was always big on me. So when, when we in a restaurant, it's kind of like that same dynamic because you got this black woman struggling to keep this shit afloat, got these mm -hmm. employees that kind of like kids, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it got to the point where, you know, you just want to be a rapper. You just want to mm -hmm. be a rapper. You know what I mean? Like, yo, I'm... I'm seeing all the niggas living my dreams coming here every day. I'm not hating. I'm not mad at it. But I'm just like, man, it's inspiring me to like, I just want to be there. Mm. And so I remember I'm there and I'm like, yo, my, my mood is starting to deteriorate. And I'm like, I'm bringing in negativity in here and she don't deserve that. She looking for, like, looking out for all of us. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I had flipped it in my head. I was like, uh, we was reading a bunch of self-help books, Magic of Thinking Big. And it was just a lot of mm -hmm. stuff that, that teach you like perspective. So I remember I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me flip this. I say I want to be on stages and like really like change the outcome of people's day and they come to the show. I like, let me MC this crowd. If yeah. I walk in here, I'm talking to 40 people a day, 50, right. 100 people yeah. a day. Let me let me MC this crowd. Let me ask somebody how they day going. Give me some good news. Give me like, and then after a while, I'm like, my whole personality changed just wow. from the aspect of doing that. Then when I hit the stage, I'm like, oh, I can talk to y'all. Right. I do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's what, serving teaches you the importance of improv. And mm, improv can help you in all aspects of life, but especially entertainment. And it right. does make you feel like, oh, I can say anything to anybody right. if you're right. talking to strangers every single day. Right. right. So right. use it as that. Definitely don't take your job for granted, man. Like, God got you there for a reason. You got to just find out what's the reason. Find the, Get the value out of it. 
And they got me the job. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. A year later, I came yeah. in. They yeah. was like, yo, we got somewhere you could work. And I was right. like, oh, lit. No. I, 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 matter of fact, I came to the uh, interview process at the end, and she like she had already hired oh, she them. Met me and and she was, yeah, she hired them. They had a conversation. I came, showed up at the end. She was like, "You with them? <laughs> yeah." She was like, "All right, come back Monday." You, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like no, she hired all of us yeah. on spot. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So, I, yeah. And yeah. and the fact that a black woman could do this and yeah. hire four Man. black men mm-hmm. for a black owned business Man. and inspire mm-hmm. them to be creative and then come like this is just a beautiful story. Man. And yeah. she does this for that's what she does. Like yeah. like it's people that came before us at the restaurant that's doing their thing now too. So that's what she does. Yeah. That's super dope. Yeah. Um, this is my favorite thing about y'all. And I think y'all exhibit it the best on Get the Worm, mm-hmm. which is an incredible record. Thank, Thank you. you. Y'all, y'all pimping Benjamin is that shit too. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's go but these, these are like, to me, these are like cousin records. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um, what y'all exhibit on that record that I think is why people from my generation have tapped in with y'all so much mm. is that y'all are very unapologetic about telling your story and not fronting. Mm. A lot of rappers say that they're not fronting, mm-hmm. but that's just them fronting. Right. It's so refreshing that y'all are bragging about having a job. Right. That y'all are bragging about, not bragging, that might be the wrong word, but being unapologetic right. about like, look, like even Eric with your verse in the Never Freestyle, you're like, yo, my man couldn't pick me up so I had to catch an Uber. Yeah, There's yeah, some yeah. regular shit niggas yeah. be going through. Yeah, right, like, yeah. everybody don't got a Rafe. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, most right. niggas don't got a Rafe. Right. 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 Most right. niggas, right. I'm a rapper. I'm a been a famous rapper for a long time. Right. I take Uber everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right, right, and it's right, like, right, so right. when I hear that, it's like, is disarming me? is bringing me in and in like get the worm y'all not talking about jewelry or material items but y'all talking about financial literacy Mm -hmm. and y'all talking about black economics Mm -hmm. and you know that's why I asked you what you was reading you know Mm -hmm. greatest salesman and y'all talk about rich dad poor dad and Mm y'all talk you've already mentioned self-help books so Mm -hmm. what is behind your focus on financial literacy and making it funky Making right. it and in, putting it into the bars. Why that's Honestly, important? it's just it's just time to change. I feel yeah, like right. I feel like it's time to change. Right. I feel like up, it's right. so yeah. much out there. We're in the, the information age right now, where mm. everything's so accessible. But at the same time, it, people just don't want to go clicking around. You know right. what I'm saying? So uh, for that specific track, or honestly, this is just that time of like reading books and just like finding mentors and yeah. you know what I'm saying it's like it's like it's no excuse right. on why you shouldn't know certain information mm-hmm. you know right. you should know you know what right. I'm saying I know right. some people don't feel like doing it that's on you now you know what I'm saying back that's in the day now. I feel like it was much harder to find way harder, way, yeah, way harder way to find harder. so right yeah. now right like, about that. when we yeah. talking about these ideas we talking also about like how we going like own it. You know what I'm saying? The the, the idea of ownership is always present with us on every idea that we come up with. So just knowing like the back end and um, like I said, just just getting the right books. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, just being around the right people too. That's That's that right there. That right there is a big company you keep. These guys, yeah, these guys, just mentally. The company, you feel me? Yeah, the company, yeah. The company, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I I also want to tap in on that and say like, like I have the utmost reverence for y'all the reason being is because y'all came into this money was brand new yeah. to y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all literally went through the through all of it. Like I, I we did go through all yeah, of it. Y'all, y'all went through all of it. Like y'all went from street money no, to, right, right. to rap yeah. money. Like you know what I'm saying? Like y'all went through all the brand new, fresh. Like I'm talking about coming from. I seen chains before. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I seen diamonds. I seen chains. I never, I never bought one. Mm-hmm. I never had the money for it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like I seen it. Like this was something that y'all, y'all generation literally had no. That wasn't even a thought to be able to have, and so right. to see how y'all got the money and y'all had to go through all of the all of y'all that. Y'all took all the bunch of bruises. Y'all took all the bunch of bruises. It'd be crazy for, for somebody like me, right? Mistake. That's like that. Watch y'all. I seen the falls of it. I yeah. seen the you know the ways where it was successful. I, to watch y'all and look and just be like, yo, mm. I'm gonna do the exact same right. thing all over again instead of learning from y'all. So mm. that's why for us, it's like when you hear a song like "Get the Worm," when you hear a song like um like "Pimp and Benjamin," it's like. Biggie, you right, right? So mm-hmm. fuck bitches, right. get money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. you when you but when you hear that, it's like, yo, he was 20, he he what he died around 20, he 24, 24, 25. 24. Right. Damn. So you gotta think about that. This it's a this is a this He a was kid. making get money at right. 20, yeah. 21. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a kid. So listen what he's saying as a kid, you know what I'm saying? And I, I study that because it's like, yo, I'm 20, I'm 26 now, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, 
I was on the same exact time at 23. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He didn't get to live to be my age. Mm. And that's what he was kicking. And the energy of it was more like, yo, y'all didn't have, y'all damn near didn't even have the time to do, to get the homework and do all this yeah. shit. And y'all still did that with the, with the success that y'all had. So for me, it's like, man, it only makes sense to study Mm-hmm. And give it back to people when they coming up because we have the opportunity to learn from what y'all mm-hmm. y'all didn't have the opportunity to learn from. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, yeah, I think, like, it's just super important. Like, why wouldn't we actually do our homework and give it back to the generation that's coming up next? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because they going to need it more than anybody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. After what y'all Yeah, doing, man, so. it's so beautiful. Yeah. Y'all making me think of my relationship with my children and, and, and who are now adults and their relationship to money and them seeing the ups and downs. That's mm-hmm. me as an artist. Y'all, y'all seen it up close yeah, too. Right, yeah. Sometimes it was up. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. it was down. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that too. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's yeah. how it is. Oh, and, and what you just said about Biggie, I always say that, like, what if Biggie and Tupac were able to grow? What if we were to see them in this level? And Chris Rock got a great joke about this at Top 5 because he says, he said, hey, don't always assume it's going to be sweet. Tupac might have, you know, you might have seen him kicking Jill Scott down the stairs in a Tyler Perry movie. You never knew what he was going to grow up. I definitely would have. <laughs> in a bad way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might have did that. But, yeah, right. but you know, let, right. we're going to hope that he... Right, 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 right. Yeah, and so... The That's living funny. example for that that I just seen, That's it was funny. so beautiful. I just posted on my feed with Sean Poe mm-hmm. because yeah. Sean Poe is from mm-hmm. Brooklyn. Jamal Barrow, he from the flat, this area I'm from. Right. And he came out street oriented, got in trouble for busting his gun in the club, yeah, Club right. USA with P- Puffy and J-Lo yeah. because they were so big. You know, there's a lot of folklore around what ended up happening, right? right. Mm-hmm. But he busts his gun. They didn't get in trouble. He yeah, got in trouble. Right. He went and did how many years? Eight, ten years? Yeah, how many years it, he did? It, and then he was very, very upset. He was vocal about it. Yeah. Then he came out, changed his life around, right. went through a lot of public changes, got back with Puff, then got back into his roots with the Belize and being from Belize, yeah. became a member of the House of Representatives in Belize. And now you see him at the BET Awards Looking doing a record. Shot. That record, oh, that record, Bad Boys is a very violent record. Right. Mm-hmm. He's talking about Andrew Cunanan, who murdered Gianni Versace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they did that whole uh, FX TV show about that. Right. But mm-hmm. he's making a violent metaphor out of it. That record is, is a gangster record because right. Sean right. Poe was yeah. a gangster. Right. Yeah. And to see him in a suit as a member of the House of Representatives changing the lyrics to making the lyrics more Man. revolutionary, Man. this is what I feel like Pac and Big would have did had right. they gotten a chance yeah. right. to survive. Right. Right. We would have right. seen right. them at the war show flipping yeah. the yeah. lyrics like y'all flip get exactly. money. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it's, it's exactly. just now that we have, we're older now. You know, I'm older than he was mm-hmm. when he died. You know what I'm saying? So now I can, instead of having to go back and flip it, I could just do it now. You could just you do it. Right. Yeah, so, right. nah, that's, that's, that's facts. That's that's it's, that's it's, facts. it's something about that 25 to 26 and your whole mind just like flips. Right. Yeah. Right. Like once yeah. you go, because like you're 25, that's like a hot, cool birthday and then that next year, it's like, okay, yeah. I got to have some sense You ain't lying. Yeah. Damn, you ain't lying. Yeah, because our birthday is January 4th, so it's all at the top of the year, you always get that revelation like, all right. Listen, wait till right. y'all get to 40. Mm. I'm telling all y'all. All right, old man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying, for everybody who's 40 plus in the room, and y'all yeah. know I'm not lying. The two people. When you turn 40, that's better than all this other shit. Yeah. Mm. When you turn 40, you're young enough to still go to some clubs. Right. Not every club. Right, 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 right. But right. some clubs are still young enough to get in right. and still look it's like you belong. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but you also, now you have 40 years on the planet, so you're probably, if you've been doing your homework, you're probably the smartest person in the room. Yeah. And you could utilize the power of no a lot more. Yeah. You just be like, no, I'm right. not, like, right. fuck these niggas. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying, man. 40, when I got to 40, I was like, I yo, that was the best shit. I was like, oh, this is a rap. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. And, when, yeah. was and when you're 40 yeah. plus, you can go into the lounge with your nice scarf on and just sit in VIP. And <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll be doing. I love it, man. I'll be looking around. I'm like, what is it? Oh, I love it. And then come, and it come back to People's Party and dry yeah. snitch. But anywho. Uh, I love that, man. So we had Jadakiss on, which is mm-hmm. another reason why I love that bad boy performance. I got to rap for him. But hey. uh, he told us that the locks stayed together because they handled all of their arguments behind closed doors right. and mm-hmm. no one left until it was over. Right. So obviously you're trying to be on that same path of keeping your group going long term. So what are some techniques that you guys have with dealing with disagreements? Damn, that, that's, I think what you just said is key. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 got joke. we got Festivus. Yeah. We got this thing. Festivus. Shout, yeah. Yeah, it's the Seinfeld yeah. joint. Shout out, yeah. to, shout out to Max too, but Festivus, yeah. So like, um, you got some. you got a problem, we sit everybody on the round table just like this. Mm-hmm. Everybody get theirs off. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And like he said, like it's like I don't gotta like it. I just gotta 
respected. respected. And, you know, if, if it's a way to, you know, we're going to find the best way to move forward from there. Um, shout out to uh, our, our DJ Juan Cannon. He just had his first festival right. with us. You know what I'm saying? So right, right, right. it was an honor. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, yo, that's, that mean you really in here. You know what I right. mean? So, yeah, yeah. I, I think that got a lot to do with it. Um, mm. And then, saying, oh, saying, pro- protect, yeah. protect in public, correct in private. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I think it's big to, to, to also keep an account that these dudes is a reflection of me at all times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Outside, inside, wherever at, wherever mm-hmm. we at. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm big on like, it's, I, I always be saying like, you gonna get away with playing with me before you get away with playing with them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I would never want to see harm done to my brothers in any way, whether it's their image or anything. So I think we all have that same type of reverence for each mm-hmm. other. It mm-hmm. shows a level of trust, honestly, mm-hmm. because oh, yeah. you can sit there and that the person that is telling you this loves you yeah. and that they're coming from yeah. love. Yeah. And that's how you continue to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially, especially yeah. when it's three of them. Yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I could get yeah, a little yeah, stubborn and being yeah, old. Yeah, I'm like, y'all don't know what y'all yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. But when I got one, two, three, like, yo, you bro, you tripping? You tri- I like, oh, I'm definitely right. Right. Yeah. Right. trust trips. So yeah, refer to the yeah. majority. One hundred percent. Like exhibit uh, used to call it homie court. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. That's hard. yeah, yeah. I love that. You gotta have yeah. homie court. That right, too. Right, right. <laughs> I love that. I love it's that. necessary to keep everything smooth. Yeah, and and this was a this was actually we we did we thought we did music last, so this was really a brotherhood before it was any. That's, yeah, 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 it's gonna always stay. That's how Black Star was. We became friends before we did music. Why, that's, that's why yeah, exactly. it came that's out of the friendship. That's why, yeah, you know, years yeah. Years later, yeah. Y'all are all romantics. Mm. I've been watching y'all interviews, and y'all are very upfront mm. and expressive about dealing with women and mm. just yeah. certain romantic situations. And then you get the record, My Lady. And, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all are very, very, very mm. adept at expressing love. Mm. Um, where does that come from? Uh, uh, I can start it off. Yeah, what you always yeah. tell us, man. Yeah, where, where you going with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the dimple. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, like, so no, me, like, I'm naturally a romantic, and I just right. grew up with Disney movies. Like, ah, my parents kind of so prince and princess. Yeah, time. my parents kept me like they ain't let me go too far out in mm-hmm. the street. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But so like eight o'clock, Disney come on, that movie come on, then it done. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I always just like, and it kind of had a big deal with me, like having faith on how this was going to work out for me. I just believe in, like, happy endings. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Now, I know real life, it could get real. Relax, Jasmine. Same, I mean, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she just said happy ending, ending, and I just knew. Oh, oh, Her mind oh, went oh, straight oh, to the gutter. Happy ending? Are you talking about Disney? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm just done. You said happy ending. She was like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. You got oh, me. So, yeah. You got me. That, played, that played a big part. That mm-hmm. played a big part. And just, like, yeah, like, when, as far as, like, you know, uh, Meeting a lady, uh, it was the same thing. Approach it. I hate it when uh, I date a female and they be like, yeah, niggas ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, I'm, I, I'm not that nigga you talking about. Right, you know right, what right. I was raised uh, accordingly. You know what <laughs> <laughs> I was raised with like, you know what I'm saying? Hold that door. Treat them with respect. Yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, so right, right. when they threw that at me, I kind of was like, yo, what's that about? But, mm-hmm. you know, continue to uh, have hope and then, mm-hmm. you know, found the right one. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so is this it. still the married side of the table? No. No. no it's, it's, this is the married. Okay. Yeah, y'all okay. We split it up. All right. And it's funny because I had to learn. It's it's actually through... um. Rocking with my wife, like I learned how to be romantic. I, I'm, I've never been a vulnerable mm. person at all. I'm like super close that door. You gonna get titties? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> titties, yeah, you titties, titties coming out. You know what I'm you ain't and not the dick cut. You don't want the titties to pop out. Nah, it's definitely. Um, but it's. I, I realized that like that actually just comes from you. I didn't trust nobody. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And so now having somebody I trust, it actually opened. It opened up uh, just my my heart to. Just regular people. Yeah, I feel like you're general, yeah, yeah, like a lot more. Yeah. I used to, yo, you know what I'm saying? Something yeah. happened to you. It's like, bless you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm gonna pray for you and keep moving. But now it's like, oh man, you know, I, I feel a lot more uh love for everybody. I, I have enough love to get to everybody. So yeah, 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 yeah. changed my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I would say in my opinion, for me, is I we grew up with all women. You know what I'm saying? My That's mom right. and her sisters, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just grew up with a lot of women in my life, and they've all been blessed to me. I have great female examples in my life. So mm-hmm. I, I think uh for me, it was funny kind of putting on the train wheels and trying to figure out like how to d- differentiate, you know, who going to be on what time and who going to mm-hmm. be on what time and then figuring out how to move accordingly like that. But after a while, it's like, you know what? I'm just going to rock with people that I can treat that way and they're yeah. going to appreciate it. And you know what I yeah. mean? So it's been it's been cool. I enjoy yeah. it. You, you, be doing, you be down here doing your, you yeah. rocking. You learning, you learning yeah. the game, my brother. Yeah. You learning yeah. how to do your thing, yeah. man. I love it. You all know getting all them yams. Yeah. Hey, man, we in them yams. Come on, man. Oh, you love uh, man, I mean, I would say... Uh, See? Uh-huh. See, baby? It's our guy, yeah. Uh, Rockstar. Yes, sir. 100%. 100%. Uh, I'm a monk on the weekend. <laughs> 
I'm a monk on the weekends, but I'll be stripping in the evenings. Shout out to my auntie, man. Um, she she really like just taught me like you know how to be respectful to women. You know, like that was one of the, like she you know you know sometimes I'll be hearing like uh, stories from like. Homegirls that you know cats be doing, I'll be like, yeah. dang, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know they ain't get raised right, you know what I mean? Right, so, right. you know, um, yeah. shout out to my auntie, you know, for just de definitely te uh, teaching me how to, like, you know, you know, be a gentleman, you know, chivalry definitely alive, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I feel like you should just owe that to a woman, you know, treat her good, right. treat her with respect, you know what yeah. I mean? No matter what form you deal with her, as friends, as like intimate, whatever, whatever, however y'all rocking, if she and she just a homegirl, still open her doors for her. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like, ain't, ain't no other cats out there probably doing that. Right, Even right. if she a stranger on the train and you see some dude like messing with her, yeah, you know, stand up for her. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like she ain't got that's that, right. you know what I mean? Right. So all cats should be doing that for women, you know what I yeah, mean? Just, just holding her down wrong. like that. Right. Like, I like that back yeah. in the day. But it's, you know, sitting in You guys are just right. the sweetest. I'm just oh, like, oh. We try to be all, you know what For the cameras. Just for the cameras. I'm playing <laughs> so speaking of lovey uh, movies, love stories, you guys, how was it like working on Queen and Slim? Um, the Queen and Slim song was just pretty much like an audio representation of the movie. Mm -hmm. That was uh, phenomenal. Yeah, First off, uh, shout out Black Area 51 for yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lena, yeah. Lena Waite, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out Lena. Lena, we need you on the show. We definitely need you, Lena. Yeah. No, come come yeah. tap in. Yeah. 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 Shout out Melina as well. Shout yeah. out Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a beautiful experience. And that was actually our first, like, uh, real step into, you know, where we are now. So they really took a chance to rock with us. Shout out Black specifically because he was the one that had the balls enough to be like, yo, we calling this Queen and Slim. You know what I'm saying? Right. And pick the beat. And pick the beat. Just the one. Now, y'all, did y'all see the movie? Yeah. You had to because y'all yeah. yeah. the details is too. Yeah, Absolutely. that was that was dope because we was just sitting in, you know, like a what, like a rented out little theater. Right, yeah, like it wasn't all joint. the way finished. Mm -hmm. But I'm just sitting there. I'm like, bro, what's yeah. happening? Y'all right? scored it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. That's such a powerful a film, man. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, have you ever yeah. seen a uh, uh, Bonnie and Clyde? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I was like, yeah, it's yeah. the black Bo Bonnie and Clyde is mm -hmm. so so ill the way they did that, yeah. and the, the way it's, it's so timely dealing with the social issues of the yeah, day. Yeah, right, sure. right. Sure. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. It was that really well done. Yeah. Up right in the same time, yeah. Yeah. Especially the crazy. overseer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the overseer. Yeah, I like that. Not only are y'all romantic, y'all very, 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 very spiritual. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Very spiritual yeah. and um, unapologetically spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, again, get the worm at the end. Who is that speaking at the end? That's my uh, Uncle Mike. Yeah, shout out Uncle Mike, man. Uncle Mike, Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike you made it to hey, Outlaws, baby. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Uncle Ali? And shout out man. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah, here, yeah, baby. Yeah, Come you on. know, it's crazy. Yeah. We just interviewed Ali Shahi Muhammad, and I said, uh, you know, his career started because his uncle had equipment in the in the crib that he him wow, and Q Tip used to wow. build. I said, Yo, your uncle had a crib. He said, Yeah, my uncle Mike, man. Shout out, oh, shout word. out to Uncle hey, Mike. Uncle uh, Mike's uh, big deal. Yo, Uncle Mike is a big deal. Yeah, man. Uncle Mike on that record. Without getting into specifics about everyone's particular uh, spiritual path, mm -hmm. and spiritual journey, right? Mm -hmm. Uncle Mike said, "Y'all speaking on God, but y'all y'all not talking about no pie in the sky. Y'all right. speaking on the God inside of y'all. Right, yeah, yeah. That's very yeah. important. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to me about as uh, the sisters would say. I forget their name. The gospel group, who, who, uh, Mary, 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 Mary. Mm -hmm. about the God in you. Mm -hmm. It's the God, God in you. Yeah. 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 That's, a, that's, a, exactly. that's a jam right it's, there. It's, exactly. it's dope, man, because I feel like uh, I feel like we learning more and more every day. day. I was yeah, about to say, yeah, like, like yeah. he say, he say you y'all and y'all pulling them out more and more every mm -hmm. day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. And and that's uh, I think that has a lot to do with that five or five experience as well. Was yeah. just like God recognizing God. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, yeah. Before I could see it in myself, I seen it in these cats. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It was a journey to even see it in myself and then pull it from there. Shout out to my brother. He uh he he dope. He I love him so much because he always see. We see we don't see each other flesh no more. We really see each other's spirit. So he mm. gonna he gonna look at me and be like, "Yo, you dim today." You know what I'm mm, saying? Like yeah. you've been dim for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I want you. To, I want you to like it's there. You know what I mean? Like I, you giving me. He always be like, "Yo, you giving me." I, you got like Raz. You there seventy percent? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. You give me seventy percent. And so like that was always dope. He always held me accountable and made mm. sure like I was loving myself the right way. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. likewise with all of them. So yeah. yeah. Taj used to hit me still. Still hit yeah. me up. I don't know how he be sensing it. And mm -hmm. be really Batman. I don't know what he be doing. <laughs> but we'd be hanging out one. <laughs> Time be like, yeah, all right, y'all boys, I holler at y'all. About an hour later, they be like, oh, right, Tosh, what's going on, babe? Mm -hmm. What's good, Tosh? Yo, you good? I'm like, yeah, you everything good? You're like, yeah. How your energy? Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's mm -hmm. good. What's, what's good with you? you? Yeah, I'm just checking. You feel like you wasn't all the way there today. 
I'm like, damn, it's very how observant. He peep? Mm-hmm. How he peep? Like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, all right, hold on. I got, I got, now we on the phone yeah, for like two yeah, hours. Yeah. Like, this was going on. No? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he really yeah. just be like, yeah. yo, what's going on? Energy right. check. So yeah, right, man, right, I right. appreciate that. Nah, for, for sure. sure I, I say, like, man, because when you rocking with, um, with like, because basically, like, living with them was like a mirror. Fact. You know what I'm saying? And like, just to go back to the whole God thing, it's like, man, you can really tap into the God when your brother and them, they, 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 can, they can look at you and say, yo, bro. I see you, for mm-hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you got to think we living with each other seven years. I'm tired of seeing them after a while. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, yo, yeah, that happens. It's yeah. Tired, but it's like, yo, bro, like, I, I, I'm looking at you like, like, for example, like, you know, I see my brother, and today, out of, out of, out of the days where he just been kind of in this slump, today he up, and I'm like, oh, bro, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I see you today. Like, yeah. yeah. But, but you was here the whole time, so yeah. what is that? Right. That's... Yeah. That's something different, you know what I'm right. saying? That's that's God, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, and and the thing as far as like, well, we oh, I know it for sure, but I've been learning even like with the book I'm reading, um, the the greatest salesman joint, like tapping in and exercising that every day. It's a muscle, like yeah. God is the is a muscle, just like the flesh. Is, you could work out, you start to see the muscles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yo, you could tap in and you could exercise that God every day to shine even brighter, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like today, do you wake up, you know what I mean, and try just a little bit harder to. To love yourself, right. you know what I'm saying? You try a little harder to spread love to everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. these is ways you can exercise, and it's like, I feel like the more um, we've just been growing in this and why we took those seven years, it's because God was like, yo, when I put you on this light, I'm going to need y'all to rock a certain way, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And we needed that time, so I feel Big like, time. yeah, we exercised it a yeah, lot it's, more. It's crazy time. when you say that, because I, I always look at our journey, like, it wasn't a matter of, of did we have the talent to get here or nah, the work ethic? It nah. was like we had to become a specific person nah. to be here. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's what this always, is the becoming process. Always mm-hmm. be like, yo, by the time I'm like 28, I'm right. on, I gotta be on. Right. Right. Yo, when right. I'm, right. now that I'm 32, I be like, thank, thank God, God I didn't get exactly. on. Right. I wasn't, wasn't ready. ready. Right. I was not right. ready at exactly. all. But now, exactly. oh yeah. It's yeah, everything shot. happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. Wait, um, so most of the rappers we have on this show are now where you guys are. Mm-hmm. But when they started, they were on some street shit. They were on some gang shit. Right. I wonder if it is because that you guys have started rapping a little bit later in age, mm-hmm. or like, what do you think it is that? It's just such a big difference. But I'm not. That, uh, oh, uh, what you got? I, yeah, I was gonna say. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like, like for me, I'll never forget. I feel like there was an unmovable door that wouldn't open if I we didn't had change. To out why. Yeah. Ooh. It was like it. There, it was nothing else I could do set aside from setting my soul and not having the values that I and not really appreciating like getting the experience I was gonna get. And I just remember I couldn't move the door no matter how much hustle I put behind it. It just wouldn't open. Sounds you know like I mean? you need to write a book. Yeah. Uh, nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I mean, that's just, chills over that's here. a feeling. Yeah, that was a yeah. feeling. And, and, it, and like, it, it drove us crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was like, it got to open. I just don't know how. And then right. uh, I, uh, I remember Kendrick, he said, I, uh, uh, it was on one of his songs. I, I read Napoleon Hill and tried to know God. Money flow like water. I will just wait at the dark. And it was crazy because like, I, at the time, I, that was just lyrics. I was right. I, I, like, but that's why I I think it's so important to do what we got what we doing because it's like you don't know how you 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 putting them seeds in people and they they, they might not grow overnight mm-hmm. but it's gonna lead into what it's supposed to lead them to yeah. and I, the next thing you know I'm reading Napoleon Hill thinking go rich then I'm reading as a man thinking then I, and and it was so crazy because I didn't know character was something you could actually sharpen. Yes. Yeah, I thought yeah. that your character when you born a fuck nigga, you born a, a cool nigga, and right. you just a whole nigga for life. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like some I niggas be whole niggas for life. Yeah, yeah. 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 hey, like 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 Toby say, words to the whole niggas. You don't gotta be a whole nigga for your whole life. Like like he said, it's a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's you can sharpen your character. Mm. First, you gotta understand what character is. As a man thinks, is one of the dopest books. James Allen. Mm. Yeah, James Allen. I yeah. sell that yeah. at Akira yeah. Books, by yeah. the way. Qualiclub.com, Akira Books. That's fine. Come get your James Allen. Go get that. I'm telling you, like it man, break down the eight know. pillars of success. It break down the I'm, I'm not gonna list them all, but mm-hmm. they got uh, energy, economy, and it's like these different things. And you, and you, and as I'm reading them, I'm like, oh, I'm not bad in these areas, but I could be better. Right. Yeah. I could be so much better. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, having forecasts where I could practice it with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like he said, just it's an exercise. You got to just wake up and do it every day. But I think for for me personally, that was what it was. It was like right. this door ain't gonna open, and it's four like, dudes trying to move this door. Right, so we should be yeah. right. It's right. here yeah. to move. Yeah. 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 Right. You mentioned the seven years, mm-hmm. and I've heard y'all speak on that in interviews. And mm-hmm. y'all about about seven years ago, right. y'all decided, look, it's gonna. This is a seven year plan. Yeah. Um, and on Pimp and Benjamin, you even say, speak it to existence. And y'all mm-hmm. really, really, really did that. Mm-hmm. Um, the number seven, I'm not into numerology. Mm. I'm not. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not. Right. But there's certain, because there's certain certain parts of numerology just to me that is pseudo. Wow. But I don't believe in coincidences. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. So right. even though I'm not, I don't follow numerology like that, ain't nothing a coincidence. Right. Right. And if numbers keep coming back up, 
There's a reason for that. And there's a reason why five percenters look at seven as the divine number. You know, so tell me why y'all picked seven years and how y'all came up with that prophecy. Mm -hmm. We didn't even pick it. Yeah. Okay, chose y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah. I was, I don't really much read the Bible now, Mm -hmm. much anymore, but in the uh, the, beginning, I say in the beginning, like it's Genesis. (laughs) In the beginning, (laughs) no. That was my first Uh, time in Genesis. For real? That's fine. Yeah, because my words was flesh. Ah. (laughs) See, that's what I like, man. I was I was reading a yeah. Bible scripture. I can't I can't even tell you which one it was, but I had seen maybe I seen what I wanted to see. I don't know, but I know I, God was speaking to me and I seen a joint that said in seven years, I'm paraphrasing, in seven years you'll be exactly where you want to be. That's what I was told. And then it said on July, on, on the seventh month, on the tenth day, you're gonna head west. Mm-hmm. And we was kind of debating whether or not we want to do this shit in Miami or do it in LA. You know what I mean? So once we read that, it's like, oh, it's no brainer. We out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then from there, it was just a matter of like, and that's why I fuck with this nigga too. Like, that's why I said, yo, get with some niggas that believe in yes. the vision, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, he could have came in and be like, y'all that's niggas stupid. sound crazy. What you mean? <laughs> like, stupid. Yeah, no. they, yeah. You like, know what I'm but yeah, nah, we we told him, we like, yo, look, man, we on, we on uh year, uh, we one Boy, year in. Yeah, we one yeah, year yeah. in on, on the seven year journey of prophecy. And every year, I remember we just be ticking that motherfucker off, like, yo. What's gonna happen? Ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing happening. And then, boom! This is seven year right here. Wow. But that's how it came about, though. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is most impressive to me? And y'all have put it on display several times in this interview. Mm-hmm. But even before this interview, is the the love that y'all have for each other as black men. Mm-hmm. And it's such a shining example. What y'all doing is so important. Y'all showing how black men can move together with love, how to teamwork, make the dream work, mm-hmm. how there's powers and numbers. This is a story. Y'all story is a story of looking out for each other, being stronger together, building community. Yeah. Coach Contra is a community. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the community as well. Shout out yeah. to the Coast Guards. Yeah. To the, co- the Coast Guards. Yeah. Coast Guards. Coast Guards. See, I said Team Coco, but it's the Coast Guards. The Coast Guards. Coast Guards. Coast Guards. Coast Guards. Coast Guards. So it's, it's, it's two versions. You, you, you could be a Coast Guard, you know what I'm saying? Or you could be a Coast Guard. Ah. Coast Guard. Yeah. Coast Guard. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I was just so, you know, sometimes you get so invested in the interview, forget you're working. Um, <laughs> I heard you guys believe that no one has the same range as you and apartment 505 is just the beginning. So what is the next piece of that range that you're going to show to people and how do you plan to execute the next level of your prophecy? Man, honestly, uh, I'll speak on it just a little bit as far as like we're... We about, we're, I believe we're about to have resources that we never had before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in those resources, we haven't met them yet, but just knowing, like, not even just like um, like like producers and stuff like that, but just in the sense of like traveling. Yeah. Right. Like I have no, no, no tattoos on my passport. I'm looking mm-hmm. forward, and I tell these guys all the time, like before we like really dive into this next album, I need to travel. Yeah. I want to touch Live different, life. yeah, different mm-hmm. life, different yeah. cultures, so that way I can absorb more and then... Release, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, from resources to traveling, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's one way we're going to tap in and give the world. And then you're dealing with four different brains that work as one. You know what I'm saying? When when we're done all that traveling and touring and it's like, all right, y'all, what y'all think about this? And it's like a mastermind. It's incredible. I do want to say another thing, too, because the dope part is that I love, Apartment 505 is like, to date, my favorite album ever. It's a brilliant piece of work. I love that album. But I'm so excited because we got our story off. And so this is like, Something we get to jump into a whole new realm, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, it's we funny. don't, yes, it can, it literally gets to go anywhere. Not that the other one couldn't, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's where we was at, yeah. and so that we out of there now. Yeah. You know Me and you saying? was just talking the other day, and we was like, I, I, I was, I am, I will be, right? Mm-hmm. And that's this, that's the sequence of what we're doing. I feel like Apartment 505 is really an ode to everything that I was, birthed Coast Country. Yeah. It was like, mm-hmm. I was, you know what I'm saying? And as far as when you say, like, what's the next chapter, it's I am. That's that's gonna right. be crazy. Like, yeah, what, what, yeah. it's our con- it's our, it's our turn to bring a contribution to this to this piece. That's yeah. like a whole nother sound. You know, we got a Colombian pot in here. Yeah, you know, yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. he he bring up a whole nother world. So we gonna I definitely wanna dive into that more. Yeah. But like, just yeah, like I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited. I'm, excited. I'm, excited. I'm, I'm about to say too. I feel like. Uh, Apartment 505, we had to come together. Yes. And now this now, time, we get to bring, bring the world, world together. together. 
Don't make me talk nah, crazy. Nah, 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 I'm glad you brought up the, the the bilingual thing too. Like when y'all when y'all y'all haven't yet right. tapped into that, but right. when y'all right. tap into that for real, when yeah. they'll start being able to tour mm -hmm. to Spanish man. speaking places, y'all gonna see it's oh, gonna man. be. I, I gave you show last night. He was the superstar. Yeah. Like, I mean, not last night. Uh, last <laughs> week, he was the superstar. Yeah. When I tell you. He, he had the oh, crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yo, we couldn't even yeah. get our names off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was rock star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yo, love so, it. Yeah, yeah we so already know. Like he, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no it's doubt. About to be crazy. Bridge, for sure. yeah, yeah, that's a brave. Mm -hmm. Well, I love having y'all on. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for giving us your time and energy. Um, y'all um, are known. For the bars, mm -hmm. we don't usually do rap on this show, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to give y'all the opportunity. If y'all had some bars you want to share now, I know y'all been doing a lot of interviews mm -hmm. and giving out a lot of bars for free. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I know how you that goes. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on now. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all wanted to get some off, okay, I'm down yeah. to rock. Yeah. Let me I'm let me take a lead on this one, man. Yeah, I got I got like you. you take a lead. I got you. Yes, sir. Take yes, sir. Lead. Take lead. What you got? I made peace with that greatest enemy, peace for the enemy, peace to the fake, the face of God. See, my fate was defending me straight through the hate. Don't hesitate to embrace your identity shape as a misfit place in the box for conformity's sake. I'm better than great. I was born in a claim to MC. I'm living my raps. They flow through my veins on beat. No foul, no harm, no weapon form, tended form, no smighty sword, no trumpet tongue. Speak scorn, don't speak corn, just sit in silence. Listen for knowledge. Four man humble and modest, not to be bothered. Fuck blue checks, preferred direct deposits. Mm. Coast to coast, we got it. Check the mileage. Mind of a master mind. That master is mind, body, soul, and half the time I spent in my body. Yo, I've been in my prime if niggas was trying to find me. Watching origami, watching niggas fall wisely. I be with the Mama Dula, Mansa Musa, King Ruler, rich like Tuza Muna, got plenty Mula. My prosperity extends like charity to you, clarity to you, reverse polarity, lifting our souls. We fly beyond clothes, hallelujah. That's yeah. how I do you. Don't let them fool you. Claim they grade A, but can't school you. At best, these niggas mid terms of schooling. I'm done fooling. We kick jeweling. Yikes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's hard. Yeah. I said, I'm living in the Time where I should have died when real niggas were still alive, cause this shit here just ain't it. They be like, follow the following. You need to build your followers. Until then, your talent ain't shit. Mm. Ain't that something? For you to tell God he ain't doing enough when well, making me rap was a part of his gift. And mm. here I am, dead wrong to want to live in the present when I should be worrying about taking flicks. Picture this frame of mind that we in where Photoshop is your friend. And if not, you can always go to a doc and get it put in. I noticed but all <laughs> of them likes feel like you winning. You know it. You really living your life through out of lens. So focus. Mm. That filter filter more than your skin. You feeling lesser than pretty because you ain't use it again. I get it. It's a trend. I like to call it addiction. Every morning we wake and we grab our phone for a fix and like, huh, check my mention. Scroll. What I'm missing. What? No, he didn't. Mm, she could get it. Damn. <laughs> I swear we in different times. Attention worth more than money when eyes can be monetized. Mentally modified is no longer dollar signs. Swear that shit blew my mind when it checked me and verified before the pandemic. I've been social distanced from media. Niggas always want followers. Where the fuck is you leading us? I'm in the mm. crib reading books. I be on different mediums with the wife, living life, and we ain't got no TV up. Nah, shit. Yeah, we got it, but why get it? It's not the price of the TV. To watch it is too expensive. Mm. Read. Don't just listen. Take heed to this wisdom. Niggas say time is money, but look at how niggas spend it always down to get high but consciously setting limits feeding you through a tube be sure to make your subscriptions nigga yeah. Coast. uh this a product of the strong slaves that made it to Colombia. Straight from Africa, but we didn't get there with Columbus. Conditions were disgusting. It made this contagious. A lot of us ain't make it. They made a strip naked. This the naked truth. I'm really hoping y'all could face it. And cada barrio bajo el sol, you gotta play this. From Skid Row to skyscraping condos in New York. For my niggas passport without no passports. Let's go. Te llevo pa los tiempos cuando éramos esclavos. En cae now, de los cuellos hasta los pies. En un barco monto now, headed to the west. Crossing over the Atlantic. That shit took like eight weeks. Many mm. jumped and drowned in the See, trying to breathe in liberty. Those that made it got distributed like property. Forced to make sugar, rice, and coffee. This shit bigger than your posse, bitch. I'm picking them apart like back when we was picking cotton. <laughs> if niggas knew better, then they do better. So I drop knowledge, drop the beat, cause when I speak, I break silence. This is the voice of those who don't have a voice. Fuck rhyming, been polished, coming from the dirt. Sorta like a diamond from Sierra Leone. I know we far from home, but the throne in my chromosomes. My birth certificate inside the walls of pyramids. I've been a genius, but I was born into this leadership from a slave ship. My foundation was built on the basics from EBT to BET, my flow amazing. I look down at the next best thing, cause I'm a king. Hiro Arela told my pops that I could sing, so I did. Started with a trumpet, now I write for heaven's ears. Mm. These ideas might make the government fear. No no quieren ver unidos a nosotros right here. Pa mi negros y latinos everywhere. This the bridge, persevere. Yes. Mm. Talk to him, talk. Wow, y'all doing too much. You hear me? <laughs>
There's a place low in density, full of kinetic energy, amidst good food, wine, and eyes for my enemies. Very same place described as God's vicinity, where I've been delivered, fortified my delivery. Lyrics I wrote gave life to the pen. I can cast the first stone. I wrote without sin. I never lied, though. If it ain't Taj and shit, it's titty low. No biggie <laughs> till you got Diddy all in your video. Dennis, oh, say less. He ready to die. Get rich or die trying niggas with better lives. Quick tidbit. Yeah, this year we doing big shit. Gave my wife, my heart, a ring and a big dick. She everything <laughs> I ever wanted on my wish list. So if she say I'm gifted, I'm gifted. Stand clear because me and my dog's on the prowl. Time to show y'all niggas God come with style. We turning up the frequency and breaking off the dial. I ain't been in my bag cause I'm living in the aisle. Throw up a white flag and submission on our vow. That if we cross paths, it could tribulate the trials. Feel me? I was really on the fifth floor. Like when he gonna stop? Sleeping head against the fourth wall by dad pull stars. Real from a third world country on the third rock from the sun. More thorough than burrows of a block. Secondhand smoke from the roach and animated knot. I played the game in first person and seen the hands of God. I'm different by designs way beyond my decisions not to mention this good intentions behind my decisions defined by a rhythm most heartbeats never felt put my soul on ice pop said let it melt mm -hmm. another year a better version of myself if Word. Jesus ain't that relatable we can surely help you might not walk in water but look at Michael Phelps just saying apartment 505 can provide shelter to anybody anywhere any place it's coast contra the fucking mind state my nigga yes now in case y'all don't in case y'all didn't catch that bar his pops Made an album called Soul on Ice. <laughs> Great album. All right. Let me see if I got a verse for y'all. All right. All right. I don't, I don't got a lot of free verses that ain't been a, a part of something yet. But, yeah, all right. Riders of the storm. Wise enough to warn the people about the evil that be going on. Way before the money gone, money is the root of, huh? You know the rest. You know the love of it. Got you investing in your death. I stay torn, but I'm live in the flesh. They make computer music. They try to make a copy of me. The computer blew it. They raised in the age of the enlightenment, but little did they know that they were slaves to their environment. The doggone tribes or the stars without telescopes. When you have no God, you start selling folk. I tried telling folk they attitude is bellicose there's so much more to life to rap about the sell of coke you could tell that it's dope my squad official they irrelevant cause they intelligence is artificial the scar tissue on the face tell the folklore we launch missiles in the space to start the cold war star light star bright get the arc right put my story on the screen at the arc light stare clear of the beast and the troglodytes trying to start a fight like Della Reese up on Harlem nights we got the flow to culture vultures want to copyright but they copy wrong we are not alike right. oh. <laughs> Yes, yes. You guys just did so good. I'm just a proud mother. I love it. She like thinks that she has dope, man. She got love. I love that, yo. Thank you, man. Oh, they didn't send me my rap. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. Hold on. Hold on. We got some. Oh, you got some? We got some for you. We got some for you. Hold on. Let's get that over to her. Hold on, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little Wait, I got a code read it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. So just try to, put, try to put your flow to it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe, let's see. Hopefully it worked out for you, you know what I mean? Well, I think. Okay, okay, okay. We on a people party catching vibe like Bob Marley. You know they dread real rappers, but they play us hardly. It's common, most deaf, quali, students of the game. Their names echo the hallways. And I'm Jasmine Lee. Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Coach Contra on a people's party. Hey, that's fine. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, y'all. <laughs>